next lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create a gradient filter and how to adjust the skin tones of your subject. Keep in mind that sometimes uh, your subject may have different uh, skin tones. Um, if you are shooting in a cold environment, you'll find that your model hands uh, might get a little bit on a purple side uh, or maybe uh, her or his tan is uneven and maybe the forehead is a little bit darker than the rest of the face or maybe the face is a little bit uh, yellow uh, or maybe the face has a different color than the neck this is almost usual and is normal because uh, people are doing different activities, they are staying in the sun and it's normal if you catch uh, bits of the subject's skin uh, on, on a picture uh, it's obvious that you're gonna have some skin tone differences I'm gonna teach you how to tackle these differences and I'm gonna show you what the pro retouchers are doing it's actually very very simple so you're going here onto this button and you click a gradient map. Okay. Don't freak out. This is completely normal. Double click on this. I already uh, saved a preset that's named skin tone but you can also build it yourself because this is, you can easily uh, modify it. So what I'm gonna do is click OK, hide the layer at 0%, zoom in our model face and I'm gonna take some samples onto this gradient map from her face. Why from her face you will say? Well, because our model face in this case is the most important. So I want the other parts of her body to follow the skin tones uh, that we are gonna find on her face. So I've distributed this gradient map in three main areas. The first one are the shadows, the middle one are the midtones, and the last one and the third one are the highlights. So what we want is to pick the color of the skin. So we're just gonna double click on this and we're just going on our shadows and let's go onto this color. Then we're gonna go onto our middle tones and I think this is a good pinkish color. And then let's sample our highlight and this is a beautiful highlighted zone that we are gonna pick with this one okay let's go with this one and then hit ok now we're gonna turn up the opacity to 100 percent we're gonna invert but first after we're gonna invert our layer mask we're gonna change the blending modes to color and then we're gonna invert our layer mask and now our layer is invisible zoom out and now we're gonna paint with the white brush on top of the skin and you're gonna see the difference lower the opacity a little bit Now just paint onto the skin. Just gonna increase my hardness because I don't want to spill the image onto the areas that I don't want. Look into the shadows.
Also, keep in mind that we are not going to keep the 100% opacity here, but for now it's good to see what we need to apply the filter. Look at this, look where, look how we bring color into the areas that were gray saturated. Now we can see how the skin tones are matching, bringing down the very saturated zones of the skin and then bringing up this very, very unsaturated zone with our color. You can see this effect better on the air on the shadow areas where you don't have much light going on now we're left with the fingers Now, this zone around the neck. And now we're going to lower the opacity down to maybe 45%. This is better. Now look at this. Look how everything became uniform. Look at this area. Also on the face. Everything looks better. Here you can see the forehead has a little more pink thing to it or on this side we have a little glow from the makeup and now everything is uniform and beautiful like I said these are very 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 subtle changes in an image but every subtle change adds up to another subtle change and in the end it's a completely different image that's looking natural and is looking beautiful.